Hey guys, welcome back to UFOP Studios. If you are new here, I'm Jack, and today we are going to be diving into the world of Bionic Woman dolls from Kenner. Now, I've recently really gotten into Bionic Woman and started watching the show, and I already had the doll because we got in a lot, and we I also have a head here too. So I started doing more research on like the different things released by Kenner, and there's a lot. So we're going to go through the different dolls released, the fashions, as well as like the play sets. So I'm going to try to cover everything. I found this really cool website, and I'll leave the link down below for it, where you can find all the stuff, and it was really helpful. So let's get started. So we're going to start with the very first Bionic Woman doll. So I believe mine is the first wave one. They made several different ones you'll see here. But the first one came dressed in um, a sweatshirt that kind of looked like the one that Lindsay Wagner wore on the show. It was a little modified though. And then she has these um, blue pants with pockets so they can lift up. You can see her bionics, which I'll show you on a doll here in a second. And some sneakers. So I believe this is the first wave one just based off of her face. I rerouted her though just recently. It looks a lot better. You'll see on the art head I have um, the rooting was really thin on the top of the head. So I made it look a lot more natural and nicer. And they don't have the greatest quality hair. So this one has, a, like I said, a nicer face. I think this one looks more like Lindsay. Um, but she has a hole in her ear to represent her bionic ear. And they claim the clicking in her neck is supposed to be like with her ear. I actually took a video of when I was rerouting this what the inside mechanism looks like. It's just like a little dial that the head is turning as it moves. And then we have her arms here. So they just kind of move out a bit, like a bend at the elbow and move like a twist and bend at the wrist. Um, so here's her bionic arm. And she originally was supposed to have like a little rubber thing over it. Um, there was still a little bit of it on this doll, but it was like really gross looking. So I removed it and I might have to figure out something I could replace it with. But as you can see is when you remove that, you can see her bionic chips just to show it's like her robotic arm. And then the other arm, basically the same without the bionic chips though. And then here I'm going to lift up her dress so you can see her. So I think this body is a little bit masculine for Lindsay Wagner anyways. I think the face looks pretty good. I think it resembles her pretty decently. But she has a very like manly build. I don't know, maybe I'm the one who feels that way, but especially, she seems really like bulky, at least for Lindsay Wagner. She can twist at the waist, not that much though, not like a Barbie, you can like 360 or on her waist, she could just turn this much. She can sit down, of course, and then here are her little bionic pieces. So each side is the same for a doll, but you can, with your fingernail, lift, here, let me get this, lift it up, and then you can see her bionic chip. And this is the same for each side. And then she can bend at the knees and her feet can twist and go back. I had a rubber band around this one because so it was really loose. I think I'm going to do the same thing for this slide too. I noticed like on lots or listings of these dolls, that tends to break. So just be careful with them. This is one of her fashions as well, which we're going to get into. Okay, then we have the second one released which is basically the same doll, but in a blue jumpsuit. She has um, like red shoes as well, and then comes with this purse. So it says it comes with um, a brush, a comb, and it looks like a photo of Steve Austin. I'm pretty sure is what comes inside the purse. Um, and then, so yeah, so we got all that, um, and there's like other stuff within the purse, like little like papers and stuff. So I believe this is a later Jamie. So you can see it's the same exact face mold, but she's a lot tanner, and this one does not look as much like her. Like, the face paint is not as good. This is why I was saying, this is how thin and, like, high up the rooting is on her hair, and it's really dry. This has been fixed up by me, but it's really dry on her head. So, reroute was worth it. I ended up using, like, a heat gun for most of it, um, or for some of it, but it wasn't that tough as so I started going along, but... This one has a little bit of a stiffer head. This one's a squishier head. But yeah, and then basically this exact same doll was released for um, in a green outfit. And this green outfit was sold separately as well, as you'll see with the fashions. But she basically came with the same purse and everything. And the exact same mechanisms as 
the first doll, so nothing changed there. And then we also got the Super Size Jamie doll, which is basically the same size as like a Super Size Superstar Barbie. Um, this one is very hard to find, and I believe it was not sold in America. So I think that's part of the reason why it's so difficult to find. But she came dressed in this gold outfit, which was also made in a minier version for the regular size doll. I don't know how I feel about this face. I kind of like the original face mold more. But I just think this one looks more like her. But let me know which one you like more. I like how this one's more of like a fashion doll though. Rather than, like I feel like this one's a lot more like action figure type rather than fashion doll. But she's still a really pretty doll. And then we got the styling head, which was really cool. It looks quite a bit like Lindsay. And I've seen people repaint them and it looks a lot like her. So they did a nice job with that one. Okay, so then the last doll is not Jamie. We also we got the Fembot. You're a Fembot. Your paralyzer gave you away. She's unmasked me. Now I have to disguise myself as a mystery baby. No one will recognize me. Not even Jamie. Ha <laughs> ha. So if you um, know anything about this show, the Fembot is basically this female robot. Um, and they appear in several episodes, but in the show, their faces can be ripped off and it's pretty terrifying. So this doll came basically with blonde hair and then it had a face, which is the face mold of the Jamie doll. So she could like pretend to be Jamie. Um, and then she came with a second face and a wig so she can like swap identities. I, I think it'd be pretty cool if they made like separate face packs they could get for these, but I know this is a very like sought after piece within the Bionic Woman doll line, but they're really cool. So now we're going to move on to the fashions. So the very first one here is Classy Coolettes, I believe is how you pronounce it. And it's this really cute um, purple tube top with these yellow, like I think they're called gotcha pants, but they basically go to like the knees and you can wear like boots with them. And then she has um, sandals which have like a matching strap to the tube top. And then she has this little headband with what appear to be kind of cool, like hoop earring type looking thing. I think that's what they're going for. I think this outfit is kind of um, inspired by like that gypsy episode that happened. It kind of, I see some similarities with that. Um, but as you can see here, these first ones here are designer budget fashions. And then we have like deluxe fashions as well. Next is elegant lady, which is this really pretty um, blue dress with like this wrap round type look. Um, and then she has these like orangey salmon colored shoes, which um, as you saw earlier that um, jumpsuit with the second release doll had red as well. So I guess they like pairing those two colors, the like color scheme together. Next is Fiesta. So this is like this really multicolored um, top with skirt. And then she has these bright yellow shoes. Um, they're kind of going, it seems like a bit of like a Latin type theme with this outfit. Very cute. Next we have Lilac Butterfly, which I actually have here. So it's this really pretty purple. I think this is kind of like a jersey material. Not fully sure. We have this little like yarn type string that ties it in the back. And a little snap. And there's this little butterfly, which unfortunately has broken on mine. But I yeah, I could like glue it back together. I'm not really sure. And then she's supposed to come with purple matching shoes. But... This is a very, very pretty dress. Um, judging from the, it in the box, I don't know if this yarn was supposed to go with it, but whoever owned this, I think may have just paired it with it. But this is a really pretty dress and really flattering looking on her. Then there's Lime Lit, which this is a dress that we saw on Third Doll released. Um, and basically, so they put it on there and you, then you could get it separate like this. So. It's really pretty. You can see it kind of have like a bit of like lime looking designs over it. Um, they're going kind of th fruit theme. There's a lot of like summery themes I noticed with these outfits. Um, and then she comes with these cute kind of like sandal wedge shoe kind of looking, which I wonder how that works because her feet are flat. So I, I wonder how the shoes fit on her and if they fit decently. But you can also see on this dress there's like little slits for um, the, the sides so that's cool as well this one i don't like as much this is lunch date and it's this like navy blue black looking dress with 
um, what appear to be like little like flowers on it. And then there's a little red tie and then red shoes. I like the shoes first one, but I don't really like the design of this dress. I don't think it's that pretty. You can see on this website, they actually have um, like values. I don't know how outdated this is. This is probably from a while ago. Cause some of these things I couldn't even find online. So who knows? Then we got party pants, which is kind of crazy striped um, top with um, the pants here. And then we got um, like wedge shoes as well with lime green straps. So very colorful. And then we have red dazzle, which this is a pretty dress, kind of similar to the lilac looking one kind of a, a similar cut with this dress. Um, but we got reaching, matching red shoes. Um, and yeah, very simplistic. And then now we get into the, the designer. And then we get into the, the designer collection, um, which has a little more detail with the outfit. So we got blue mist, which is this cool um, top with pants. Um, and then again, like wedge shoes. So I'm really curious as to how these work with the doll having flat feet. So I had to get the shoes and test it out. But it's a cute pants. It has a little flower in the middle of the shirt as well. Very simplistic. This one might be my favorite, but I can't find it anywhere online. This is casual day. It's a striped tank top with um, matching jean jacket with jeans and then some blue flats. This is really cute. I like, I tend with dolls to like more the simplistic, um, like everyday type outfit. So someday I would like to obtain this. This one might be my least favorite. This is country comfort. You can see they're going for that like granny look, which was very in, in the late sixties, early seventies. Not my favorite aesthetic, the grandma aesthetic, but yeah, very mist mixed. It's very mist. <laughs> it's very mixed matchy, um, with the, the colors. Here we have floral delight, which pretty kind of like, peasant dress type of look and it appears to have separate sleeves that come over like the forearms like bell sleeves that are, don't appear to be attached to the top of the dress this one is gold dust which is one i really want this is um that mini version of the dress the super size jamie wears um so it's really pretty um golden dress and you can see like the detailing on the bodice as well and then we have the matching shawl and she comes with appears to be white shoes but i have to look and tell more maybe it's it's more gold they, these just could have aged who knows then we have peach dream which is this like salmon colored dress this reminds me of the one she wears in bionic beauty i think they're kind of inspired by that for this outfit but it's really pretty you can see that the straps come down into these like longer um, like scarf type pieces down her back. So that's pretty awesome. And then we have silk and satin, which appears to be pants. It looks, yeah, a pantsuit. Um, so it's like this white jacket then with the pants and there's a little scarf and then some like pink shoes that match that scarf. So this outfit's really cute. Then we have tennis time. Um, obviously if you've seen the show, Jamie's a tennis player before she becomes bionic. So that's pretty cool. They added it. She comes with a little visor um, and a little, it's like a little jumpsuit um, and then the skirt and the matching sweater and some tennis shoes. So that is it for the fashions. There's quite a few here. They kind of did with like the Hasbro Trolley's Angels. They basically um, took some creative liberty and they're inspired by certain things but just played around with it a bit, which was fun. I think that'd be really fun to collect when they came out. So now we're gonna get into the play sets, which they made a lot of really cool ones. So first we have the Bionic Beauty Salon. This is really neat. It's basically like um, a science lab and then it's supposed to be where you can sit in a chair and like you could hook up the wires to her to like work on her bionics. So that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know why they called it beauty salon because obviously it's supposed to be working on her bionics, but still pretty neat. And then we have the carriage house, which I know this is pretty hard to find, but this is really awesome. Uh, you could tell her kind of inspired by the one actually in the show, but this is, um, kind of reminds me of like a Barbie one, but this actually looks way cooler. You can see we have actual like really neat furniture. There looks to be a hanging chair there. 
a really cool red bed. Um, and this looks really neat. I'd like to see this in person, but you could tell by the value on here, this is probably pretty hard to come by and pretty, probably pretty difficult to find. And then we have the dome house, which is actually pretty cheap. And I'm definitely going to get this someday. So it's like this inflatable. And then there's like little areas where you can like put your hands in to like, um, you know, walk the doll around in the house. And then you see it comes with furniture and then you can move the furniture outside and have like patio furniture. So this is pretty cool. They list it pretty expensive on here, but it's gone down actually in price. So pretty neat. Then we have a classroom. Jamie becomes a teacher in the show. So this is a pretty neat thing. And you can see it comes with a desk. And yeah, that'd be really fun to have. Um, but again, I haven't really seen some of this stuff actually online. So this might be a little outdated. Then we have um, the vehicle, which is her car. And you can see actually in the commercial, they have it where she puts her foot outside just like in one of the episodes where the brakes are not working and she uses her foot to stop the car. So this is pretty neat. And then they also have a feature where you can like put wires in and do like mechanics in the car. So that's also a really neat feature. But I also found the um, bubble bath and shower, which appears to be taken from the Dusty Doll. If you don't know, the Dusty Doll was also made by Kenner a little bit earlier than the Bionic Doll. Um, and she was marketed as the most beautiful doll and she's a little scary looking but this basically had the same shower and it looks like it was remarketed i don't know if it may just wasn't sold in america or something so that's why it's so hard to find but i'm really not sure but this is um there's a lot of really cool things for the bionic woman dolls and it was really fun they it ran for a couple years um with the show and yeah, I would be really excited to start collecting more stuff. It's a little bit expensive and a little pricey, but definitely a lot of really fun, cool things. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comment down below. And don't forget our album Superstar is on YouTube now. Um, we post it on our second channel, Jimmy Pop Studios Range Albums. But you can also find it through a playlist to our regular channel. And then we also have our five music videos out on YouTube now, um, which also have a playlist. So. Yeah, um, and that's it for this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.